Hi guys, welcome to my meds. For those who don't know me, my name is Mana. Today, I would like to share with you a few obvious facts about time. Why time is important. Here are my thoughts. First, we don't know how much time we have. Imagine if you have an amount of money in your bank account, but you don't know exactly how much you have. Would you spend money on things that are not important? I certainly wouldn't because I would have the fear of running out of money, right? Guess what? Time is the same. We don't know how much time we have in our bank account. So why would we spend time like there's no tomorrow? Why do we spend time on things that are not important? Why do we spend time on people that are not important? Right? Why do we waste time? Like, there's no limit to it. Two, once time is gone, it's gone. Imagine if you lose some money, you can earn it back some way, somehow, right? You could even earn it double or triple. Yeah, but if you lose time, that's it. You cannot earn time back. You cannot somehow get the time back. It's gone. So, wouldn't we think a little bit before we lose time? The third point is time will be spent no matter what. So, the thing is, if you do something or not doing anything with time, the time will be spent anyway. Unlike money that you can avoid not paying some bills or delay on some purchases. Right? or not spending the money altogether. You can, but with time, you cannot. If you do something or you just sit around doing nothing, time will be spent anyway. So why not spend time on things that give you some value or you know some benefit on you or something else? And the last point I would like to make is you only have control over only a portion of your time. Imagine that, let's say someone can live for 80 years old, right? And the first quarter of his or her life, which is like 20 years, will be spent on learning. Learning meaning like education or learning about how the world works, learning how to behave in society, or learning how to um, build his or her character, identity. Or whatever and that means the first quarter of our lives is not really productive or we don't have a full control of that period of time and now we have um, three quarters left which is about 60 years we can break it down to one day which is 24 hours I can split that into three portions actually we will spend six to eight hours a day sleeping. So that means one third of your day is gone on sleeping. Then you have to spend another portion, about eight hours or more, on going to school or working, right? So two thirds of the day is again gone. Then you have the last portion, one third of it. What would you be spending that on, right? Um, then you probably need to eat, get dressed, shower, commute to school or work. Imagine how many hours of that portion that you have left per day to do something else. Do something like to relax, to improve you know, your skills, your life somehow, to solve some problems, to work on some project. You don't have a lot of time. And my whole point of the whole thing is we don't have a lot of time left per day to do our own thing. We cannot get the time back. When it's gone, it's gone, right? And so why would we spend time on things that are not important, on people that don't deserve our time? Or basically just let time slip by without doing anything productive about it. 
Thank you for today and let's see what's the next time I will be talking about. See you next time. Bye.